Hi guys and welcome to July! Oh my god, it's July. I'm starting this vlog and I haven't even posted June. I'm so behind. It is like July the 13th or something. 12th? Uh, let me check. Oh my god guys, this month has already been so crazy. This whole year, since lockdown started easing in April, my year has just sped, sped away. It's just sped away. So much to do, so much to take in my brain, so wet, so many places to go. Today I just got back, I just got home from an event with a clothing brand called Oasis um, and it was a really lovely event in London. Um, yeah, I did that today. I met with my friend Bing, who you would have seen in one of my vlogs where we went to um, Beckenham Park and that was really nice and yeah so we had um so we went to the event and then we had a really nice little early dinner before he went to work then i got home and i just filmed a video ooh, where i was talking about why i upgraded to an espresso machine from my tasimo machine and i told that video that i would start doing like little check-in coffee morning things um with my monthly vlogs so because i've got all these new coffees to try I've got this whole Nespresso box, like a chocolate box of coffees, and I've got my favourite new coffee brand, The Grind Compostable Coffee Pods. I keep getting ads for these actually, I should stop talking about it because my phone is obviously listening to me. I've got the Sainsbury's ones, I've got the Starbucks, the Starbucks ones, the blonde and the house blend. It's a lot of coffee, okay? There's a lot of coffee to be had here. Um, and so I want to maybe start like a little coffee morning chats with you guys. Um, because I feel like I've been neglecting the vlog. I feel like when my when my like life, my personal life takes off, I feel like I, everything else gets neglected because I'm like, well, I'm not really like obliged to make YouTube videos, although I love it. I love making YouTube videos. In fact, I love making the videos. I'm just finding it really hard to find time to edit them. So that's that. I'm sorry. Oh, I got my nails done at the event. They're like pastel. Oh my God, I got my new camera. <laughs> there's so much, there's so much happening. I got a new camera. So I'm filming with my new camera with a microphone, you probably realise by the quality of this clip, um, I've got a microphone and I've got my new camera. Very exciting, like, I fo it focuses quicker. Look, it's so cool. But yeah, there's just been so much I've had. Right now, as I speak, I don't know what the situation's gonna be like at the end of the month, but right now I ha I'm on my third round for a West End musical, um, which would be really cool if I got it. I'm not gonna cross any things, I don't know, like, these things are usually out of your hands, um, so yeah, and I've been, um, I've got an audition for, um, I think, three other things um, coming up, or two, three, two, mm, three, I've got a lot coming up, I've got a lot to be squeezing in my diary at the moment, um, so yeah, I'm gonna like vlog as much as I can, when I can, and hope for the best. <laughs> I'm really hoping to visit my friend Alice at some point, probably August because we are able to go to France with it, obviously with restrictions in terms of, I'm gonna run out of memory in a sec, but yeah, there's a few restrictions. So you need to do tests and you need to have proof of where you're gonna be staying and when, you, when you're coming home and do tests and tests and be vaccinated, which I am. Um, so hopefully that'll go ahead soon. I would love that um, just to like have a bit of a getaway. But yeah, I thought I would start the vlog whilst I'm here full of energy and yeah, I will see you at the end for an outro. Bye. Hi everyone and welcome to July. Um, so we're starting off, well it's not really the start of the month, it's I think the 4th? I don't even know, I don't know, the days the days just go by these days. Um, we're starting off, I've just set up my camera lighting and stuff um, to start creating a reel an IG reel for Codate Beauty. This isn't sponsored, but that is gonna be sponsored. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna create that with some of their new products, including highlighter and stuff. So I'll show you my finished makeup look once I've done that. Yesterday, I filmed a self-tape. It was a recall self-tape for a West End musical, which is very exciting. I sent them a video of me singing a song as the character, and then they asked me to self-tape some of the scenes, which is very exciting. I don't know if, I probably can't say anything more than that, but keep your fingers crossed for me. I'll know by the end of this vlog if it's gone anywhere. So there's that. And yeah, I've just started making myself a drink. I wasn't sure if I wanted to make myself like a coffee. I've had a hot chocolate today. I haven't had a coffee. Oh, I did some propagating 
I've got all these tiny little plants because these spider ones came from the big spider plant in my living room. This spider plant was a tiny little cutting from my local cinema, which I propagated. I, I like begged them to let me take some of the spider babies home and they did. And um, they've really thrived. Um, this is a little cutting from my best friend's house. That's taking a long time to actually start growing. And then I've repotted some of these um, here because I I didn't think they were thriving. I think I they were too, there were too many in one pot, so I've just repotted them. But yes, that is the update. So what I'm thinking. <laughs> so what I was thinking is making myself a cheeky little. It is Sunday after all. A little weekend drink. So I've got some like fake Malibu. I think from Aldi or Lidl, but. It, does the job it's 15% um coconutty rum and then I've got this like Aldi version of Lilt it's like a tropical pineapple and grapefruit drink but I actually have some pineapple I have a whole pineapple and I'm wondering if it's really extra to cut it up and put it in like blend it I don't think I can be bothered right now I think I'll save that for another time but I need to go to the supermarket soon because I am nearly out of food in my house so I've got my mason jar a gold straw very aesthetic i'm quite happy actually because the sun decided to come out today it's been saying on the weather that it's going to be like miserable all week last week this week and tomorrow i'm actually shooting a project so i was actually meant to be shooting a project today in south kensington in london um but unfortunately the person who was going to help me was pinged on the nhs app to self-isolate so that was like 4 a.m this morning so i had to change all my plans and try and find another photographer um slash friend to help me who wouldn't mind helping me and um i'm gonna pay them and like i'm so so grateful and luckily i found someone to do it tomorrow with me off in the afternoon in the same place so hoping the weather sticks sticks around for me um and yeah it's gonna be all good should i do all of it no i'll save some for with my dinner later for breakfast I had a really nice like you know those um bagel fins and I cooked an egg and ate it like a bagel egg sandwich with some sriracha and I also had a hot chocolate like I said and some like breakfast chocolatey biscuits as a treat um so that was nice let's go and sit down and get this reel going <laughs> So I accidentally forgot to film the after of my makeup yesterday. The last clip you would have seen is me saying, I'll show you after. <laughs> I completely forgot. Not only did I forget to film the after for my YouTube channel, I also forgot to film my, uh, the whole point of doing my makeup was to film my Codate reels and images and stuff. And I completely forgot to do the stories. So I'm doing my makeup again today, <laughs> but luckily I had to do my makeup anyway because I'm going out. So I'm just going to recreate the exact look, wearing the exact same clothes. I'm going to put on back the exact same jewellery and quickly film that before I have to head out to shoot another project, which is um, with a shoe company. I'm going to South Kensington to meet my friend Kitty, who's going to kindly help me film, uh, shoot and film um, for that. And I'm looking outside and luckily it's it's currently blue skies. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed that stays for the, for the rest of the day. And then I've also ordered a few Too Good To Go bags. If you're a regular monthly vlog viewer of mine, you'll know that I love me some Too Good To Go which is, if you don't know, it's an app where you can like save or like rescue food that would have otherwise gone to waste. So if it's like a restaurant, um, there's loads of really well-known restaurants like Paul, The Bakery Pool, um, Cafe Nero, Costa, Greg's, um, Lola's Cupcakes, Carluccio's, Leon, like the Pret, there's so many um, well-known and like more independent places. So it's actually really nice to like discover places as well. There's a place now um, near Tottenham Court Road, which I really like that I would love to go to again um, after getting there too good to go bag. My arm is aching. Um, I've ordered my new camera and it is, I think I said that yesterday, but it's coming tomorrow. So I think this is probably gonna be my last vlog day with this quality and this camera. Um, I'm wondering if I should sell or give away or I don't know, donate this camera or keep it in case something happens to my other one or use it for like traveling so that I'm not carrying an expensive one around just because 
I don't know if I could sell it really because it's a little bit damaged. Like I've had it since I like for like three years or something now, and it's been so good to me. This is this is like my been like incredible. I'm so glad I went for this Sony camera with removable lenses because I can use it for photography. I can use it for my YouTube channel. Like it's so versatile. Anyway, if you're not a vlogger, you probably don't care. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna do my makeup. I will show you. I'll make sure to show you the end this time. Uh, my makeup is finally complete and this is the finished <laughs> look. So I'm wearing, um, oh, maybe it's a bit too close. So I'm pretty much wearing all Codate Beauty. Um, and this is actually a project to highlight their highlighter and this lipstick. Um, they have a few different shades. I've gone for the shade Wonderlust. This is actually a shade I generally already wear so this ad is like perfect for me um, and then this is the first time trying their highlighter I've used it on my cheeks and also a little bit on my eyes as well so yes I'm still not sure about the hair I think I'm gonna wait to put on my actual outfit that I'm going out in to just see how I want to do my hair I usually like use my <laughs> this is so sad I use my mirror to like see what my hair looks like from all angles um, because yeah I don't trust myself because um, I had it in a ponytail just in a just a second ago I've like clipped it up I don't know I don't know guys um we'll figure it out but yeah I'm going to film this code 8 stories content and then I'm going to film a quick little TikTok and then I'm gonna head out the door to jump on my train I've got to go to the post office first to drop off a Depop package if you didn't know I have a Depop shop I will link it down below if you want to have a look at it um but yeah that's about it for today shooting the sky is looking a bit gray I'm a bit I'm a bit worried um, but I'm going to bring an umbrella and have my fingers crossed. <laughs> Hello guys and good evening. <laughs> so I've just gotten back from shooting the project and I am starving because I only ate breakfast today which was really stupid because I wasn't quite hungry when I left but then I got hungry during the shoot. Anyway, I did a too good to go haul which I am making a TikTok and a Insta story thing about. So I'm gonna scoot over so I can insert my little TikTok here so you can see what I got. I got some stuff from Paul's, from the sushi shop and from Paul's Bakery, sushi shop and Carluccio's. And oh my God, so much good food. I can't wait to put this TikTok together because yeah, oh my God, I love sharing my too good to go finds. Um, for dinner, I'm going to eat the sushi from the sushi shop don't really know what it is but that's the that's the that's half the fun isn't it <laughs> um so yeah i'm gonna eat this watch some youtube on the tv and then probably get some work done but i'm up really early tomorrow for work i've got work at the chiropractor at 8 a.m and i'm an evening person so that's gonna hurt a little bit i think um Right, I better eat this because I can feel one of those like hung hangry, hungry headaches coming on. Um, but yeah, I'll speak to you probably soon. <laughs> Don't know when. I've got some stuff happening soon. Um, but yeah, speak to you later. <laughs> Morning, guys. It is Sunday, and I've just made myself my first ever cup of that grind coffee. And I did promise that I would do like taste tests and stuff, have a little coffee morning. So put YouTube up on the telly, got a bowl of unhealthy cereal. It's a treat, Sunday treat. Um, I've also got a little yogurt here as well, trying to be a bit balanced. Um, but yeah, look at the, that's the froth on the coffee. That's a little bit, uh, that's after about five minutes. You see, yeah, looking very, very frothy. Mmm, that's nice. Mmm. It tastes good. I might add some vanilla syrup. Oh
Good morning guys, it's Thursday the 22nd of July and I've just thought I'll just vlog a little bit today. I'm just on a online web chat with a like my local gym uh, company. I was meant to go to a I was going to go to a class yesterday but it wouldn't let me make my payment and then I ended up starting my period which is another story. So I thought oh it's fine, kind of worked out for the best. And then I looked at my bank account I've been charged three times for a class I never booked. <laughs> So I'm trying to get that money back. And then I, I booked a class for Monday. I'm hoping I'll feel better on Monday. Um, but yeah, I started my period in the middle of a waiting room for an audition yesterday, which was not the one. Um, so I'm just taking it easy this morning. I just made myself a coffee, one of my Nespresso coffees, which I'm very excited about. And I did say I would be trying them in this vlog and I haven't done that many. Um, I'd actually, I did the grind one, um, but I had another grind coffee and I changed my, I changed it from being long to a short coffee and that made a, a big difference. So I need to do that again. Um, but yeah, I'm, I've like trying one of the like cute like barista creation ones. So I'm gonna head over to my makeup table and start getting ready for the day. I have one project to shoot at home. Um, it's kind of like a reshoot actually. The brand wanted like different options, which is fine. So I need to do that. It's like a bit harder with when you haven't got someone to help you, but that's fine. I will persevere. Um, but I also got a really nice PR package yesterday, which I wanted to talk you guys through. So yeah, we're gonna head over to my makeup table and I'm gonna like play around with my new makeup. I've just sat down with my cup of Nespresso um, and this is actually, find the name of it. So this is called the Chiaro and it's inspired by the baristas of Brooklyn who value the natural sweetness of coffee. Um, and yeah, it's one of the barista creations and it's actually very, very tasty. Mm. So, that's yummy, it's a little bit cold now. So I've got my packages. So this is the makeup brand, it's Mina. It's a cruelty-free makeup brand made in Europe. And they're all about bright colors, I think. They do some really amazing eyeliners, which they've sent to me before. <laughs> I, just, I just lost that. So let's just like get going with makeup. And then when I get to one of these products, I will talk you through it and show you how it looks. We are here at the base and eyebrow stage. Um, I've done a bit of um, tinted moisturizer and some concealer and I've done my brows. I used Codate Beauty products, not sponsored. Um, so what I would usually do at this stage is blush and bronze, blush and bronze and then fixing spray. I don't have a blush with the um, stuff that Mina sent me. So I'm going to potentially use the Codate one. I'll do the bronzer and see how it's looking. But how cute is this packaging? Also, peep how quickly that focused. Oh, we love a new camera. This is the bronzer. It's called the Glow Bronzer Powder. And I use bronzer powder. Look at that. Very, very cute. It looks amazing. It looks almost a bit like a highlighter as well which is very exciting. So how I usually do my bronzer is, um, well, it changes sometimes. So I first used to do it with this brush, but it's quite fluffy and you can't get much of a definition. And so when I wanted to like contour, it didn't really work. I would get bronzer like down my cheeks, which isn't ideal. So then I recently started doing it with this kind of more hard, hard, it's still soft, but a bit more precise. And then I kind of blend it out with this kind of big fluffy one. So I'm gonna try with this and see what happens. Do, do, do. Oh, here we go. Oh, that is very pigmented. This is a lot more pigmented than my Code 8 one that I usually use. That's a bit lighter and a bit more natural. So I could also use that, my old fluffy one, I sometimes like to use just a bronze. Oh, it's <laughs> very sharp at the minute. So I just get a little bit and just to like, you know, like bronze, like body and just like the temple, just to add a bit of color. And then kind of, it's a bit more like spaced, like not as precise. And then this is the kind of one that I use to blend. So when I get that harsh line, and I try to like blend upwards rather than downwards. So I don't get it all like down my cheek. 
but I'm not actually in like direct sunlight right now so I'll be interested to see how because of that like they have, there's a kind of like a glow in the pigment so I'm interested to see how it would look under like the sunlight <laughs> So that is the bronzer. I think, I think it's blended. Um, we'll soon find out when I see this footage back. So I'm gonna do like a rosy kind of eyeshadow look using my usual Code 8 blush palette and then pop the pigment on top as like a little pop at the end, okay? So yeah, I usually do like a kind of all over, what like a pale all over color. out this pink my eyeshadow looks these days are very basic and very minimal that's why I kind of want to get more get into like liquid eyeliners again okay so I played around with the eye product this liquid um, 24 hour eyeshadow cream and oh, I have to say I'm not a fan um, I have tried to finesse it as much as I can because I do have to shoot some pictures but I think I oh, yeah just not a product that I think I know how to really handle um, so what I did was I kind of tried to spread it as much as I could but it dried out so quickly um, and then I've used a darker eyeshadow um, and a tissue to create these kind of like winged this wing effect to kind of smoke it out a bit um, but yeah I, I wasn't a fan of that um, it's like it just it feels so heavy on my eyelids and my eyelids feel really dry and I guess it's because it's gonna last for 24 hours but my whole like I just I couldn't blend it I tried like, I didn't know what to do <laughs> I didn't know what to do I'm not used to something like that um, I'm almost scared to use this waterproof mascara because I do need to wash it off tonight <laughs> um, but I am testing it so let's see what happens <laughs> the definition mascara I'm just going to so it's like got quite um quite sturdy bristles it's not like a soft one it's quite defined and sturdy bristles which I feel like is going to help with defining each eyelash. Okay, so I've done the mascara. Um, it's not as like lengthening as I was as I would usually like and volumizing. It is very good at being separating though, I would say, um, and that's good for like no clumps. I'm just going to go over it with like this chunky Kiko one. Finally, we're going to use the lip the lip color, which comes like this. So this is the Mina Longwear Lipstick in the shade 503 and this is very much the kind of shade I think I would usually go for. So I'm very excited, it's like a nice nude, like a pinky nude. So let's see. You know what? I'm thoroughly impressed by that. Quite like that one. Um, this is definitely a colour that I would wear. I think it goes quite well with this eye look as well. Um, but it's yeah, it's, it's kind of just a bit darker than maybe I would usually wear. But I haven't used um, a liquid lipstick with like an applicator like this in so long, so it took me a while. I did have to do an, a lip liner because I <laughs> I didn't have the skills to do like the line um, neat enough. Um, but yeah, I'm wondering how this would hold up underneath a face mask because I'm wondering if that's why they created this because the lipsticks that I usually wear. I usually wear like a bit of a lip gloss on top and it's a bit like more buttery and creamy. This is a tiny bit more drying, but in a way that's like, it's gonna stay. So I've got a lip balm underneath, so it doesn't feel dry, but it like is, it feels like it could be dry to the touch, which means it could survive underneath a mask, which would be game changing. So let's see, I will maybe report back on this. Let me know if you want to know any results. But yeah, I feel like this is gonna be good under a mask. like transfer proof I like that <laughs> so I think this is it this is my full face of like the Mina products that I was sent all except the liquid eyeliner which I'm not going to do today because oh, that has already taken me a long time but I think the last thing we need to do is a setting spray which looks like this again really gorgeous rubbery packaging um, I've never tried one of their fixing sprays before so this is yeah the Mina fixing spray I'm just gonna do a test Oh, it's misty. Oh, it's a nice fine mist. Okay, we love. 
So I just thought I'd come to some better lighting to show you the finished makeup look. Um, and if you wanted to shop Mina makeup yourself, um, I think they actually gave me a discount code, which I will find and put in the description box so that you can have a look on the website. And if you did want to purchase anything, you'd get a bit of a discount as well. Yay. Hi guys. So it is Sunday today. I have just gotten myself a little bit ready, done a tiny bit of makeup because I'm going to shoot some pictures for my Instagram. Um, it's actually a sponsored collaboration which I'm shooting and I actually already submitted <laughs> some pictures for this but they didn't like them so I had to redo them. So yeah, I've got to reshoot them but I thought I would quickly... <laughs> Cheers. Um, just do a little review of my Starbucks Blonde Espresso Roast coffee because um, I made it this morning with a bit of milk and it's actually really tasty. Mm. I'm so happy that I upgraded my coffee machine. Like, like what I had before, I can't believe that I drank that and thought that that was acceptable for coffee. <laughs> it was not. Nespresso is honestly a game changer. I usually have my coffees with like some sort of vanilla syrup or, or hazelnut syrup. Um, so I find it quite bitter and stuff like that. But with the Blonde Roast um, Starbucks espresso capsule, I have not put any vanilla and I really like, I'm, I'm enjoying the taste of the coffee in this. Whereas usually I'm like, oh, it's a bit bitter. So if you're like um, a, a coffee drinker, but you usually like put loads of syrups and try to make it taste less like coffee and put loads of milk and stuff, I would suggest maybe trying the Blonde Roast. Um, it's like a lighter roast. It's not as like a bitter, dark roast. It's kind of like the milk chocolate to the dark chocolate of the coffee world. Um, but yeah, it's really, really tasty. There's a good amount of froth in there as well from my milk frother. So yes, I'm having also, I'm also having, um, while I was getting ready, I was listening to a YouTube, like a true crime YouTube channel and having a smoothie. I'm glad I've got just a chill home day. Last day of my period as well. Let's just get it all out and start fresh tomorrow on Monday. <laughs> And welcome to the final portion of this month's monthly vlog, July. Um, it's actually, <laughs> it's actually the 1st of August. It's Sunday the 1st of August. And yeah, I've gotten myself ready because I have to do a self tape today, which is due tomorrow morning. <laughs> I've left it pretty late. I also didn't manage to get a YouTube video up today, which I usually do at 10 a.m. So I might try and get one up this evening. If not tomorrow morning, I'll just like edit into the night. Uh, but yeah, yesterday was a very much a write-off. I've had a really busy week um, filled with actually some really good news, which I don't think I can say yet, but it, I will be able to. But I potentially might have a an acting job. I also had a costume fitting for another acting job, which I already booked. Um, something very, very small, but it is for Netflix, which is very exciting. It's one of my favourite shows that came out during lockdown last year. That's all I'm going to say. Um... <laughs> That was very exciting because it's also like um, a historical like period piece. So the costume fitting was very fun and exciting and different. And then I also start another acting job on Tuesday coming, so in two days. Um, and it's very short, it's like uh, just a week long and there's a little bit of a presentation at the end. It's kind of like a research and development kind of workshop on a new script uh, with a company that I've worked with before. So that's very exciting. So yeah, things are suddenly like picking up for me, which is really nice because this year's obviously been like full of ups and downs and yeah, I'm trying to make the most of the ups, so celebrating in my small ways. Um, I've continued my life coaching sessions which I don't know if I spoke if I've spoken about on YouTube yet. I think once I finish them I'll do like a dedicated video um, about how life coaching helped me. I've been making notes and yeah I think that would be a really cool video to do. Um, but yes I thought we'd end today or end this video with um, some PR bits that I recently received. Uh, I know I did a tiny bit of a talk through through the Mina products that came through. I did like a, a makeup look with you guys, um, but I've had a couple of more package, a couple more packages since then. So let's let's go through them. So first up, we have this huge, <laughs> literally fills the entire screen, uh, package from Pixie Beauty. <laughs> um, do you know what? I'm going to try and get in the frame, but yeah, it's. 
it's this huge package to celebrate their their Pixie Pretties collection, which I actually, I think I've put it on my YouTube channel before, I've received this collection before, when they collaborate with different influencers and content creators um, on some beauty products. And this is this month's or this year's, I don't know if it's a once a year thing or maybe every six months or something. Um, but yeah, I'd, oh my God, I nearly lost it then. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna just quickly talk through the different palettes. So there's four palettes in this collection. The first one is a lip and cheek palette by Louise Rowe, who is a content creator. Um, and yeah, she says, I created these colors for lips and cheeks. It's all you need in one palette. Um, and I've never had a lip palette. I know this is very, this is very like makeup artist vibes. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. Like these are some really nice colors as well, like in the reds and pinks and quite the browns, neutral family, like really wearable shades. So that's exciting and that you can use it on your cheeks as well, like a cream cheek vibe. <laughs> oh God. And then we have this sculpting contour palette from Promise, another content creator, and she's created this palette. It's kind of like these deep, um, deep browns and then a few lighter shades up here. Um, yeah, really big pans. Um, and yeah, some nice contour shades. I don't usually go this dark, but I also love these shades for eyeshadow, potentially. Like a lot of this is very versatile, which I enjoy. Um, cause at the moment I use like a blush color for my eye eyeshadow. Like I feel like that's like the vibe at the minute, the kind of multitasking palettes in the beauty industry. And then we have Mind Your Own Glow, Find the Light Radiance palette by Makeup by Denise. And she, oh, she looks like she's a curly hair, content creator which is very nice um, we love to see it and it's like a glow palette um, and I've actually I've got some similar kind of things from Pixie actually in like singular pans um, but these are just like all in one palette which is good to have them all in one place there's loads of really nice little colours there some like really bright whites and then like deeper pinks and even into like mauvey purpley and some gold so that's really nice if you're into your highlights and finally my favourite, I think, is this eyeshadow palette, which has got some really cool colours, really 70s, very retro vibe in this palette. You've got like some teals and some greens and some oranges and then lots of shimmers and loads of browns. So all, all you need to create nice neutral looks with maybe a few pops of colour. I really want to try, I've seen this trend of trying like pops of colour on the inner corner. I feel like that's a trend that I would like to hop on board, but I haven't managed to yet because I always do like the same makeup every single day. It's just so much easier, but maybe I need to try that out. <laughs> um, right, so I need to find somewhere to put that in the recycling. And then lastly, uh, Neil's Yard, which is like one of the nicest, bougiest, loveliest beauty brands, Covent Garden, somewhere I am all the time. I'm gonna be there all next week. Um, but they've sent over some of their products from their hashtag get your natural glow collection, which is very up my street. I love glow. Anything with the word glow on, I'll probably buy it because I'm obsessed with like creating the perfect skin base for makeup. Or even if I'm doing like a no makeup day, I wanna like look like I'm glowing and you know, that kind of thing so they've got i've got a toner here which is in a they're all in like really beautiful glass bottles and packages um so this is for all skin types and it visibly enhances radiance this toner um so i'm excited to try that out um shake well yeah perfect oh my god i'm looking forward to that haven't opened it up yet but i will do and then i've actually already um showed this all on my instagram so i, I put it all back together i also got this glow Glow Day Cream Wild Rose and it's 12 hour moisturization. I love a day cream. In fact, I, I always have at least like three creams on the rotation because I'm obsessed with slapping cream all over my face for um, making sure that I'm staying hydrated and my skin is looking nourished, lest we have dry skin, that's the worst. Um, so yeah, cream's always great for a good makeup base. Uh, but yes, again, in this really nice glass packaging and oh my god, it's this rose, it's a really fresh, luxurious rose, and the cream is thick as well. We love to see it because thick creams go a long way. And I always love putting these in my skincare fridge. But this, honestly, I was saying this on my Instagram, it smells like a bougie hotel. If you've ever been to a really nice hotel, like even just to like go to the restaurant or to use the toilets in London, I've done that before. I've just been like, can I use your toilets? And you go in and the hand cream and the hand wash that they use is just like, 
luxury just the epitome of luxury that is what this smells like so very happy about that <laughs> and then we also have this glow facial oil which i am very excited to try because i use facial oils every night um as like my last the last final step of my skincare routine i kind of dab facial oil in to keep me hydrated through the night so i'm not drying out um i don't tend to use oils in the daytime because I don't want to look oily um, but potentially like on cheekbones and stuff if you're doing a no makeup day that could be really nice um, so yeah I'm looking forward to that love an oil um, and finally something that I need in my life because I have not been sleeping very much recently uh, through no fault but my own uh, it's this eye brightener it visibly enhances radiance which I, revives, smooths and reduces the appearance of dark circles and puffiness for a brighter, revitalised eye area. Again, perfect for a makeup base. I put a lot of concealer under my eyes to cover the dark circles. And so this is great so that my makeup isn't drying out my skin and hopefully it lasts throughout the day and it's like a nice base for makeup. Um, but then also on no makeup days, if it's going to brighten that under eye, it'll give me a lot more confidence to like go without concealer in general. So I'm looking forward to trying that. It's very small, but I guess you only need a little bit for under eye areas. So that is everything from this PR haul portion of the video. Um, I also recently uh, had, when I went to that costume fitting that I just mentioned, I had to go to Slough, which is like near Heathrow Airport. It's very like, it's kind of in London, but kind of not in London. It's very in the middle of nowhere. It's quite well known to be a hole basically um, but I actually found some really lovely parts of it I found a really nice a couple of charity shops and I got some homeware bits which was very exciting um, because with charity shops I always feel like okay maybe I don't need this stuff but also if I donated to charity like I think I spent like 13 pounds like a good a goodish donation to a charity um, but then you also get these like really cute bits in return so it's kind of like I don't know, it like works out nicely for both parties. Um, so yeah, I got these really nice homeware bits, so maybe I'll quickly show you that and then we'll wrap this up. When I, I think when I got these items, I think I was in the middle of lusting after an Italian trip because these are the kind of things that I like remember and I can imagine seeing on in like an Italian kitchen. Um, one of those like, you know, those beachy like coastal places like Postiano or, the Cinque Terre, like the Five Towns, like, yeah, it's like very much that white and blue, that glass, oh, I love it. But yeah, so you can see the vibe. It's like this like white, white and blue glass, the like little cute, like, I think I'm gonna use this as an ice cream bowl. They only had one, sadly, I would've got two, but it's only me living here for now, so it'll do. And this really gorgeous glass, curvy, uh, vase like one stem vase but oh, it's just so beautiful they also had this in a larger size in green I wasn't as much of a fan of the green and I didn't want to carry it and I didn't think it would fit it was quite a lot bigger but I thought this would be really cute I think I'm gonna put it on my little my little writing bureau back there yeah. along with all the other rainbowy pastel things I've got and yeah this really cute little and so this was three pounds this was one pound and I actually saw this this was in the window display and yeah, it's like this really lovely glass little bowl, which I think would be nice for, yeah, like ice cream. <laughs> That's all I could think of actually, ice cream. But I guess I could find other things to put in it, but I just thought it was really pretty, really beautiful. And then this gorgeous, massive plate, which I thought would look so nice just on display. Um, and it was two pounds. It's a tiny bit scratched, tiny, tiny bit, but you can't really tell. And it's got this really nice hammered, hammered texture on the back which gives a nice um, kind of leathery almost looking texture and it's huge obviously um, but yeah that would be nice like a serving dish also like you know like when you have like a really fancy table lay and you put like a massive dish and the plate in the middle I don't know that's for like my future adult self to think about maybe one day um, and then obviously this really gorgeous vase which was three pounds they had a couple of really nice vases but I was like Do you know what I can't get everything because I'm going to be carrying it all day but yeah, this is like a really nice glossy finish. I need to clean everything. I, everything still needs to be washed. Um, but yeah, I just thought this was really, really lovely. Like this textured, glossy jug vase. Um, very rustic. Yeah, I thought it was really cute. Let me know what you think down below. Thank you so much for supporting these monthly vlogs if you have been a continuous viewer of the monthly vlogs. If this is your first one, go and check out February, March, April, May and June because there are more vlogs. <laughs> um, but yeah, this has been a lovely month. Had like some really nice times and I can't wait for August. 
and then potentially what's to come in September, maybe a new job, a new acting job. I feel like I'll hopefully find the confidence to like film and like show more stuff um, of my acting work because right now I've always, like, up to this point, I've always been really like shy and nervous about doing like online stuff and like shoving the camera in other people's faces. But I feel like since the pandemic, actors have like turned to social media and stuff more and I feel like less embarrassed. And I kind of hate that I was embarrassed because I could have been one of the first, you know, to like, because I went on tour last year, the year before. So I could have been like one of the first like kind of document, but anyway, I was, I was too nervous to do that. So hopefully I'll be more confident in future to document things and show and like have for my own memory's sake as well. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I think I might have already done the outro. If I have, cut to the other outro. If not, um, thank you guys so much for watching this month. If you got this far, I love you so much. Um, give this video a thumbs up, so let me know. Comment down below um, anything you like about this video. Uh, we have a little chat in the comments. I always love when it, people comment and we like, end up having a little conversation. That's always nice. Um, yeah, subscribe for more videos from me and I'll see you next month in August. Bye.